Welcome to this introduction of REX, the heat exchanger technology specifically designed by POTSI to work with dirty and troublesome fluids to guarantee constant and high efficiency. Let's start with some information on the history behind this breakthrough in industrial heat recovery. The company was founded in 1885 by Leopoldo Pozzi, a family business later carried out by his son, Arturo Pozzi, and now by his grandson, Alberto Pozzi. Since 1925, Pozzi has manufactured machinery for the textile industry, in particular, machinery related to the wet processing of textiles. In these environments, discharges are not only chemically polluted by the agents used in the processes, but also mechanically by the fibers, filaments and impurities of the treated materials contained in the effluents. After the energy crisis in the 1970s and the following rise in oil prices in the 80s, the relevance of energy efficiency in industrial environments and therefore heat recovery became obvious. In textile industries, however, this is not as easy as simply installing a heat exchanger. As previously mentioned, the discharges that would be fed to these systems are by nature dirty, and present a number of mechanical impurities which normally foul or clog any traditional type of heat exchanger. Systems such as shell and tube or plate heat exchangers are ideal examples. The concept behind these exchanges is to maximize efficiency by raising the velocity of both fluids as well as using as much heat transfer area as possible. They achieved this by creating very small passages for the fluids to flow into. When treating clean fluids, this philosophy works flawlessly, but when dealing with troublesome fluids, such as the ones one could find in a textile environment, these exchanges will always foul and eventually clog. A different approach is taken by other heat exchanger models, such as the coaxial type. Here, a much wider passage is granted to both fluids, and this does indeed drastically reduce the risk of clogging. However, this also significantly reduces the efficiency of the system, therefore requiring a much longer unit. Furthermore, even though clogging is prevented, fouling will still occur. But what is fouling, and why is it a problem? Fouling is defined as the accumulation of unwanted material within a processing unit or on the solid surfaces of the unit to the detriment of its function. This essentially represents not only the mechanical pollutants that might clog the unit, but also all those elements present in the treated fluid, which might create patinas or biofilm on the exchanging surfaces of the heat exchanger. Of course, this means that one would be required to periodically run maintenance operations on the unit so as to remove this unwanted material and avoid clogs. Additionally, the creation of patinas of biofilms on the exchanging surfaces means that the heat exchanger itself is losing efficiency over time. This graph shows how patinas forming on the exchanging surfaces impact the efficiency of the unit. When working with dirty or troublesome fluids, all standard heat exchangers suffer from fouling, therefore drastically reducing the theoretical efficiency of the unit itself. Usually, in these cases, filters need to be installed, but this does not solve the issue of patinas or biofilms creation, and the filters as well will still require cleaning operations. REX provides a unique solution to this age-old problem. REX, which was initially named RCR, the Italian acronym for Rotating Heat Exchanger, was designed to have a heat recovery unit with a high yet constant efficiency of operation. In order to achieve a self-cleaning effect on the unit, the exchanger is built with a rotating exchanging element inside the trough. This design achieves a number of positive effects. First, the dirty fluid is fed by gravity, therefore avoiding the need of installing a pumping system when not required. 
Second, the trough where this polluted fluid flows is built in such a way as to grant it a large passage, thus aiding its flow even when containing high quantities of mechanical pollutants of big dimensions, without creating issues. Furthermore, by having a central heat exchanging element which is in constant motion, we can achieve a self-cleaning of the unit besides a number of secondary benefits. The centrifugal forces acting on the discs of the rotor make it so that nothing can stick to it. Additionally, this motion creates turbulences in the dirty fluid flowing outside the rotor. This not only further raises heat exchanging efficiency of the system, but also maintains most particles and impurities present in the fluid in suspension as well, so that instead of depositing on the bottom of the unit, they will eventually flow out of it with the rest of the treated fluid. It must also be noted that RCR and REX heat exchangers are manufactured using only 316L stainless steel. The discs of the rotor are also electropolished. This electrochemical process additionally smoothens the surface of the discs, further hindering the creation of biofilms. But how do these exchanges work? REX units are built with a central exchanging element which rotates continuously. This rotation is what achieves all the previously mentioned benefits. The rotor is made up by a series of hollow discs fitted with baffles. Inside this rotor is where the clean water flows, in a counter-current fashion with respect to the dirty fluid. By design, the series of discs and the baffles inside of them force the clean water fluid to flow in a restricted passage, always in contact with the exchanging surface, and by creating a labyrinth-like force path, we're able to fit a high amount of heat exchanging area in a short length. This same principle is applied to the outer fluid. Since baffles are also present inside the trough between each disc, the dirty fluid is as well forced to flow in contact with the outer surface of the rotor, therefore maximizing efficiency. In 2019, Pozzi launched DREX, which is the new generation of RCR exchanges. The project, which was co-founded by the European Union, aimed at further upgrading the efficiency of our technology. The new design of the discs is now more pressure resistant. Bursting pressure of the discs is around 40 bar and each rotor is rated at 5 bar. The new geometry of the disc also generates more turbulence, thus aiding its self-cleaning ability as well as improving heat exchanging efficiency. Furthermore, this geometry creates a pushing action on the dirty water circuit. This is because, being specular, on one side the disc behaves like a backwards blade impeller, while on the opposite side it behaves like a forward blade impeller. While rotating, this creates different centrifugal flow velocities on the two sides of the disc, thus creating a differential pressure. This effectively generates a small force which helps the fluid to flow around each disc, thus pushing the flow towards the outlet of the exchanger. This pushing action becomes very useful when dealing with particularly viscous and dense fluids. Another important upgrade is the way in which the rotors are made. On RCR units, the discs used to be welded between each other. Now the discs are placed with a gasket between them, pressed together and kept in position by a locking end cap. This not only allows for easy replacement of a single disc in case of an accident, but it also allows us to build a more compact unit since in welded rotors we had to leave enough physical space to weld the discs together. But now, since welding is not required, the discs can be placed closer to each other, making Rex a more compact and more efficient unit. So how does REX technology compare with traditional heat exchangers? When working with dirty or troublesome fluids, 
Rex stands out as the only real solution for efficient heat recovery throughout time. Let's take, for example, plate heat exchanges. These usually have a very high efficiency under standard conditions. However, given that they present very tight passages for the fluids, they will very quickly get dirty and clog. In textile environments, plate heat exchangers usually last no more than two weeks before getting clogged. This will therefore require the unit to be opened in order to have all the plates removed and cleaned before then reassembling the unit, an operation which is neither fast nor easy. And after this, the cycle will repeat itself. When instead considering shell and tube exchanges, the efficiency of these units is usually lower. As in the case of plate exchanges, these will also get dirty, although not as quickly. However, eventually they will also get clogged and therefore require maintenance operations for cleaning the entire unit. The cycle will then continue forever. In many industrial applications where dirty fluids are present, after a couple of months of continually needing to stop a process for cleaning of exchanges, it is not uncommon to see that the exchanges are either removed or bypassed so as to avoid the inconvenience. And this is why REX is the winning solution. Where all other technologies fail, REX is able to maintain a constant high efficiency. The video we're about to show is of a REX unit installed in a dye house in Pakistan working with cotton. Consider that the unit in question had been running non-stop for more than six months. Before starting the video, please notice that on the fixed sides of the exchanger, we will still see accumulation of material, which is exactly what happens inside traditional exchangers. Just by looking at these areas, you can easily understand how this amount of material in a plate, shell and tube or any other traditional type of exchanger would cause loss of efficiency. Instead, notice that the rotor is still clean after months of operation. Now, this is exactly what Rex is designed to do. The rotor is the exchanging element of our units and by keeping it clean, we are able to maintain the same high efficiency from its first day onwards. Considering that we are able to maintain constant heat exchanging efficiency through time, with no downtime for cleaning and maintenance operations required, the net energy recovered over time is much higher if compared to other technologies. As a matter of fact, in textile applications, it is quite common to have a payback in less than six months. With our purpose-made simulation software, we can easily guarantee results based on the real data from your plant. Beyond the economic perspective, also consider that the medium-sized Rex unit can produce energy savings in excess of 4 gigawatt in one year. This is roughly equivalent to burning 400,000 standard cubic meters of natural gas, which would produce around 800 tons of CO2. Should we want to plant enough trees to fix this same amount of CO2, we would need to plant roughly 1,100 trees. In the last 20 years, Pozzi has sold more than 5,500 units, which is equivalent to a large forest indeed. For these reasons, Rex has encountered great success in the textile industry. Some application examples are in environments such as dye houses, where the discharged water will always contain both the chemicals used for dyeing as well as mechanical pollutants such as fluff, filaments or fibers from the treated material itself. Textile finishing machines also contain these pollutants in their effluents. Since these continuous machines normally are supplied with an inbuilt heat exchanger, we gladly collaborate with many finishing machine manufacturers to supply them with our technology. Similar issues arise in tanneries as well as in industrial laundries. Denim finishing requires the use of either stones, sands or enzymes in order to create the effect known as washed denim. These elements would normally clog a traditional heat exchanger. Thus Rex becomes the only viable technology in this application. 
The success of Rex in the textile industry has drawn attention from different industries as well. In the last years, we have started to supply heat exchangers for applications in PET plastic recycling. In the food industry for heat recovery from the discharge water processes, such as tomato or nut peeling, or for cold recovery, such as in poultry defeathering plants. We have also supplied units to steel tempering plants, where Rex is used for cooling of quenching oils. In tank cleaning plants. In latex glove manufacturing plants. And in the ceramic industry, where Rex is used to preheat slip, which is the raw material used in the production of clay tiles. In this application, it is easy to appreciate how Rex can easily deal with even the most dense and viscous fluids, as lip is 70% clay and only 30% water. The success achieved in all these applications has been recognized internationally by both the European Union through the European Commission's Innovation Radar labeling POTSI as a key innovator, as well as by the Solar Impulse Foundation selecting REX as one of the 1,000 profitable and environment-oriented innovations for generations to come. You can read more on REX on its dedicated website, pozzienergy.it. On pozzi.it, you can learn about all of our products. Do not hesitate to contact us for additional information. Thank you for watching this introduction on REX, the only patented and proven solution on heat recovery from troublesome fluids.